Hey kids, remember this place? Vintage Vinyl, the record store in a house? Well, I'm back there today. We're gonna go upstairs to the attic where I hear there's some fantastic treasures to be seen. Come on along, let's check it out. All right, now we're in the record store in a house and we're gonna go upstairs to check out the attic of treasures. It's right behind this door here. Well, I'll knock on it and oh, oh hi doc oh, oh hey it's scott he's he's the owner of the place we're gonna go upstairs and check out the treasures up, upstairs let's go all right well not too many people probably just a handful other than myself have been up here oh this is where it's kind of have a stock room as well as a few of my personal treasures this is an interesting poster right off the bat that uh that's a george foreman larry holmes fight that actually uh was supposed to happen January 23rd, 1999. It never happened. Oh no, so that's, that's rare. <laughs> that is very rare, yes. George's uh, wife said, uh, you know, we're making enough out of, off of the grills. You don't need to get your head punched in anymore. So that fight never happened, so. Hmm. All right, so we're upstairs now at the uh, Vintage and Vinyl at 891 Front Road on, in LaSalle, which is a record store. Uh, in a house. In a house, in yes. In a house. But upstairs, uh, not too many people go, and it's not so really part of the regular shop. It's most of uh, a lot of my personal stuff, And uh, but there's a stock room. There's a few things that will come up for sale now and then, so make sure you look at our Facebook now and then and see what's going on. You uh, mean if I see something right now that I want, <laughs> it's not for sale? Well, money talks, right? Ah, Everything has a price. There's so, always an ATM down the street. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Okay. So... We've got mostly older stuff, a lot of vintage stuff, some vintage toys, some die cast stuff. I wish I had the batteries in this monkey. He claps and his eyes bulge out and it's kind of creepy. He is huge. Yeah, he's, he's a little scary looking. Yeah. So some of the stuff's a little bit newer, like Wolverine Bank and this is Skeletor. That's that's more of a modern piece, but... He, uh, he doesn't run on batteries, does he? He does not. And no, he doesn't come alive in the middle of the night either? No, but he's very detailed and uh, yeah. he's pretty cool, so... Excellent. But as we come into here, uh, yeah. you're going to see again some things that are a little bit on the creepy side to some oh um, we love creepy stuff as long <laughs> as long as it's not clowns well no uh as far as i know there's no no i don't think i have a single clown star star trek people and yes uh, there's some uh, amigos which were popular in the 70s oh uh, yes these toys here Amigo uh, Gene Simmons, uh, Steve Austin, the Bionic Man. Wow. This was Pulsar Man, which was kind of the poor man Steve Austin, if you will. Mm. He was a little, little cheaper than Steve. So mm. if your parents had a little bit of a budget at Christmas time, you could afford <laughs> Pulsar Man. And this is actually Bobby Orr, but I've lost his cape, so he's wearing. Oh no! He's wearing GI Joe boots. But hey, what well, can well, you do? maybe Bobby Orr joined the <laughs> army. Maybe there you go. Over here we have a, a signed picture from John Carpenter. I thought that was kind of cool. As well as some various figures. Pee Wee and Ernest. Pee Wee and Ernest hanging out with, uh, I think that girl's her hair grows. So, uh, oh. and then Freddie in the background stalking them all. Right. So, and, the, and the Crypt Keeper. Yeah. And then we've got some T-shirts that are vintage, are kind of collectible, and I'm not quite ready to let go yet. Especially mm. that Freddie Night Elm Street Dream Warriors one. But and there's an Elvira one on the side. So. But, uh, oh yeah, that, that's just, everybody's gonna be wanting that one. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Everyone's favorite, the Mistress of Dark. So indeed. Well, over off to here, we uh, have some more things that are kind of again, some new, some old. But uh, these are Rumpf mugs, which was a pottery artist uh, back in the nineteen, mostly Rump, in the seventies. Rumpf, yeah, R U M P. <laughs> uh, R U M P H. Yes. Is, is yeah. that the same people where Smurfs came from? No, 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 no. no. I do have uh, some, some. No, I think I've got some trolls. I don't know if I have any Smurfs, but. Uh, with some people who are local to the Windsor area would remember this uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Well, oh, I guess Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese Chuck is Cheese universal. Is Everybody knows All Chuck right. E. Cheese. There was another one that I thought I had was was a Wheels one, but I think I sold that one. That was the local one I thought of. But uh, the rum flugs are quite collectible these days, especially this one. This is a, shall, shall we say, that's a smoking paraphernalia, mm. a.k.a. a B-O-N-G. So, yeah, hey, it's legal in October. It's okay, my viewers so, don't, don't have anything to do with those This was actually anyway. featured in Pulp Fiction. Uh, oh. uh, not that particular one, but oh. uh, there's known to be supposedly... Supposedly there's five left of those in the world. So that's the, And you have one. That is probably the most rare piece I have, I own. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's worth zillions uh, of dollars. Well, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> okay. Over here we've got something that uh, my, my past grandmother used to have that I always 
thought was kind of interesting in her garden. Some oh, I'll bet like you, found put... her, you found her in a bathtub. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, yeah, she never took it that far, but uh, yeah, some people have been... Oh, well, yeah, she looks putting, clean to me. Putting yeah. their tubs in the yeah. ground, and then they would put that. I never quite understood it. The star <laughs> clock, I, I don't know if that's the proper name, but the 70s we clock. We had one on our wall. Yeah, it does run when I keep it going, but uh, I still have the key. Teddy Ruxpin! Teddy Ruxpin, yes. we got some dolls. Are, uh, ventriloquist dolls are probably the things that give people the most creeps. Uh, oh. Tommy Talker was what, kind of a... What, what is Tommy up to there with E.T.? That looks kind of questionable. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's... <laughs> His hands, that, that's actually... Uh, Tommy! Um, that's Mortimer Snurd. Tommy's his friend. Oh. Mortimer's, uh, I, I don't know, he's a Edgar sort Bergen's of... Uh, pal. Yeah, I, I don't even want to get into what he's doing there. But <laughs> mm. uh, we got some Bix, uh, well, the, pickle uh, the pickle guy. Yeah, yes. Okay. Over here, we've got some old 70s puzzles. Hungry Hungry Hippos, which is actually the vintage one. Mm. Uh, the new ones are, are really cheaply made. Um, the marbles are not are like a cheap oh, plastic. Well, we can get some new marbles. We've got Micronauts here, which were a 70s toy, which most of the pieces got vacuumed up by mom uh -huh. and dad. So, and some old Atari cartridges still in the box. Ooh, and ooh. we got some more Elf. I'm big on Elf. I have a soft spot for Elf. Over here, we've got a Sony Sonny Bono. Oh my gosh, Sonny Bono. Sonny Bono, Sonny Bono, Sonny Bono. Still Look in, at this. Still in the box, as well as oh, some he's, other He's got to be worth friends. a ton of money. Uh, and then we've got some trolls. Oh, we, we on oh. YouTube, we don't like trolls. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. this is the original one. They're marked on the bottom, DAM, I don't know if you can see that, D-A-M, 1986, Ooh. I think it is. Mm. Yeah, so that's how you can tell the old ones from the 90s ones that are not worth a whole lot. And, and, and <laughs> they're, they're looking pretty terrifying anyway. Yeah, they are creepy a little bit. Yeah. So, and oh, then we've oh. got a little... Oh, well, we got a baseball guys. here. So, What's What's the story behind? I grew, I grew up a Tiger fan. That was a ball that actually it was hit out to me by Lance Parrish during, during batting practice. So I keep that ball. And uh, and it's uh, it's, a, it's a treasure. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a treasure. And then we got a few. Uh, that was a popular game. Kerplunk. Back. Yeah. I think it still make a version of it. Some more bobbleheads, including Ernie Harwell off to the left there. Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, famed Hall of Fame. Broadcaster. Yes, we all love Ernie. He was one of our favorite <laughs> announcers. I've got a bunch of Titan wrestling figures. Uh, Andre the Giant there. Uh, this is uh, Ravishing Rick Rude. He's a little hard to get. So mm. I'm still working on that collection. Thumb wrestlers, they're hard to find. They got they had a tendency to... A lot of the paint wore off. So these ones yeah. are... <laughs> Pretty, a, pretty decent there's condition. There's a Rubik's Cube and original, a Slinky and Original Rubik's Cube right there. Still in the, everything still in the container. From our everything from our childhood. <laughs> Here we have a signed Petty, signed Tom Petty uh, poster. That was a poster that he did in Chicago. There so, it goes right there. See, yeah, Tom uh, Petty. See right there? Tom big Tom Petty. Petty fan. Don't really want to part with that. So I, 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 we, we yeah. won't make any bids on that. Oh, these are interesting. Those are original lawn darts. They're the metal kind. Those are the kind. Oh, those, were, are, those are the best yes, kind. Those yes. are jarts in the background. There's two kinds. And... Yeah, those are those were banned, as we know. Mm -hmm. A Grizzly Adams game. Cause, wait, wait, wait. You know. Who was this? Oh, that was uh, I forget. Well, Living Dead Dolls, I think. Oh, it was maybe we, maybe we better yeah, pass on. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we Just have uh, more baseball people. More bobbleheads, which I collected for a while. Yes, this is a this is if you've ever been going closely. This is get up, get the hell out of bed, which was. Don Martin. It was a uh, oh, from Mad Magazine. Mad, you yeah, got it. Mad yeah. Magazine. Yeah, that's yeah. a very rare clock. That actually. asked me because I've never seen one. No, no, not too many of those too kicking around. Cool. That's yeah. Oh, I forgot this guy. I uh, can't forget the late great Randy Macho yeah. Man. Snap into a Slim Jim <laughs> for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And I collect some new things too. Like oh, what's this Twilight Zone thing? That uh, that is Twilight Zone. There was a there was an episode. Uh, that's the Mystic Seer. Uh, William Shatner was in that episode. Oh, so he was in a few different Twilight yeah, he, Zone. You didn't necessarily see the uh, Gremlin on the wing, though. No, that was the other episode. <laughs> okay, we're in another room here, and look what we have here. All we kinds of Star Wars stuff. 77 to 80 Star Wars. Uh, the more modern Star Wars tends not to be quite as collectible at this point. Not at uh, all. Maybe if you hang on to it another 50 years, but what you really want is the original stuff. And then this is uh, my G.I. Joe collection. I was really more a fan of the taller, the 12 inch, well, yeah. the full, full, full size those, adventure. Those, those adventure little teams. guys. Yeah. yeah. The, and, and we got any with the eagle eyes. And the, oh, there's there's a Kung Fu grip one with, yeah. the, with the box. That's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Below is just some vehicles and uh, a couple of modern GI Joes, which I have once they kind oh, of. Oh, look at the size of that one back yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, that's more modern. So, 
and it's just tossed in for good grace. So other than that, we've got some. If you're into, I normally have a, a five. Uh, I, I've, it's not a. It's a pretty modest collection of. Yeah, I'm getting into uh, boom boxes. Mm. Uh, you only see three there because two of them are out on a movie shoot. Really? For, yeah, they were be, be, being borrowed, shall we say? So they're going to be out for another month. So sometimes I lend stuff for just uh, people to photographers and you know just uh, university students who are you doing film work and they need need props. So yes. two of those are out right now. But it's a little collection. Of, I'd like to get more if anyone <laughs> uh, get in contact with Scott at, Scotty at Vintage, Vintage Vinyl. I was looking for boom boxes. And, and, and don't forget Scotty <laughs> at Vintage Vinyl, yeah. who has this excellent Gremlins uh, bed sheet. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, it's, a... it's actually a sleeping bag, so oh, oh, okay. I don't crash here very often unless I work late. So uh, every and now Gizmo and then we... keeps you yeah. company. Yeah, that's where we crash. Uh, I mean, what 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 grown man wouldn't want a Gremlins uh, sleeping bag? So nobody that I know. <laughs> All right, Doc, that's it for us. Thanks for coming by. You got one more thing. What is this? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but that is. Horrifying. All right, that's another visit to the record store in a house, and I didn't come away with nothing. There's a nice Tony Bennett sings all the hits, and I can guarantee Fayou is not one of them. That's the end.